you know, if this virus is so out of control, why aren't these hospitals in use? <laughs> so it's a lot nicer in here. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We didn't make it. Yeah, Spain eventually closed their borders and the kind of game was up. We kind of knew it by this point. This was, um, we didn't make it to Sardinia at all. Uh, we didn't even do another video. Um, it's too depressing and uh, we ended up um, spending the whole next day trying to reorganise flights because essentially what happened after that video, everything started unfolding and even though we had moved our flight forwards, what happened was um, countries started to shut their borders to the UK because of basically politicians, politicians basically saying that, um, you know, virus out of control. <laughs> Italian government decided to shut the borders for everyone, citizens, residents, just everyone. It didn't matter what, except from immediate effect. We're just going to shut the border because we don't want this virus, this new variants to spread in Italy. Which is very stupid if you think about it, because it was already in Italy at that point. Right, so basically, uh, on the Sunday, everyone closed their borders and essentially, um, England was in, in, in tier four by this point. Um, we managed to book a flight to uh, Tenerife, um, to go via Tenerife, um, and then fly from Tenerife to Milan um, to try and get past um, the canceled flights in the UK. Yeah, at that point, a lot of countries started to shut their borders. Yeah, Spain eventually closed their borders and the kind of game was up. We kind of knew it by this point. This was, and basically we were stuck in Stansted at this point with nowhere to go. The only places you could go were Greece um, and maybe some of the Middle Eastern countries which still had their borders open, but over 50 countries had closed their borders to the UK. So it was actually a disaster. So this happened in the space of like, you know, 36 hours, 36 hours from Boris Johnson announcing this. It just caused all of this. So basically we got stuck here. Um, we had to get a cab back, um, which cost us about hundred pounds. A um, bit of a nightmare, um, and then we spent Christmas here, so we didn't really have an update on things. Um, there are, everyone was hoping for restrictions to change, but by the looks of things, they're going to now introduce a new tier five. You know, they basically found all these new variants, and it's just, you know, questions have got to be asked whether it's all just scare tactics um, and whether there's another reason for all of it because you know they've known about these variants for a long old time um and since september october apparently uh, yeah since since september and october as julia said and this is not a new thing you know there is there is if the virus is so out of control why tell me why um you know we don't have particular hospitals open i mean they built a hospital, a hospital called um, Nightingale Hospital in London and they spent something like a ridiculous fee on it, like 22, 220 million and have 4,000 beds in there. But today it only had 200 patients and in fact it's not even being used at the moment. So, you know, you've got to ask yourself, you know, if this virus is so out of control, why? aren't these hospitals in use and um, you know people like Boris Johnson you know these kind of politicians they've made a lot of money throughout this process there are talk, talks of contracts and PPE contracts that have been paid out to his cronies and these people have benefited from this we're now into a year of it and other EU countries are not facing exactly what we're going through no one is I would say even you know even Italy even Italy no one is facing these kind of stringent um, checks and, and it just seems that the UK... No one has had so many cases though. No, no other European countries. And the fact that here no rules have, have ever been reinforced, which makes it even more ridiculous that the system now is so strict and you can't even leave the country when you need to. And when you can prove that you're negative. No, no. When we will ever be able to get back to Italy, actually, because it's still going to be closed until at least the 15th of January, and it might get extended. So you can only fly for 
for very, very specific reasons. It needs to be proven, apparently. And uh, obviously Pat, being an English citizen, we wouldn't be allowed in at all. God, it's so cold out here, I can barely, barely think. Um, but yeah, Christmas here was a lot different. Um, yeah. Households couldn't mix. It was not what we were expecting. So we weren't together with, um, with parts of my family. And I've seen on Facebook that, you know, some people, you know, didn't make it out of tier four and they were stuck in their houses on their own. We're actually walking to a supermarket at the moment. Supermarket we don't ever really go to. It's about a 20, 25 minute walk from me. Yeah. So it's a bit of a walk, but it's good to get out of the house and uh, stretch your legs. Hands are cold. You know, um, the big burning question I have is, is, is obviously is if we're in tier four and we're in tier five and this virus is so out of control, why the hell are hospitals not at capacity? Um, you know, there was even talks and even statistics online basically saying that they had less capacity than they had this time last year before COVID in the hospitals. And why is hospitals that were built for COVID not being used? You know, 4,000 beds at this brand new state-of-the-art hospital built for COVID-19 not being used. If things are getting so bad, then why aren't these hospitals in use? Um, but it's good to see other countries have, are dealing with it quite well and improving. Um, and I can see, you know, places like Malaysia and stuff, people have been allowed to travel. I see the CMCO has been extended. Yeah. <laughs> we totally should have stayed. Oh, we should have. <laughs> We, we didn't have a choice. We, we wanted to stay, but... Let me tell you, the Malaysian government, right, they messed, messed, messed with us because they told us, oh, you've got to leave before then. So we made sure we had booked flights before that date to get out and make sure we did not annoy the Malaysian government. But then they decided... To look back. Decided to just extend it, extend it, extend it. And now it's been extended for a year and a half. People have been there for over a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny to look bad, back up. Oh. At the piss, and we didn't want to annoy people by being travellers, travelling across the country during a pandemic. We didn't want to overstay our welcome, which is why we didn't stay. Um, obviously, like looking back, we hate it, like because we left so early. But you know, that's that's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, we did do some Malaysian stuff in the meantime. Um, we did. When we were allowed to. We, we did go to some restaurants. Um, we're going to finally share that, so I will share uh, the restaurant stuff. Um, and obviously, you know, um, we have been busy. Um, we haven't been in a real mood for vlogging, really. Yeah, it's been tough. It's, it's been tough. It hasn't been a lot of mood for vlogging. You know, the, the mood here has been really bad. Uh, I can't lie, like it's been depressing. Um, and when it's that depressing, mm -hmm. you know, obviously you don't want to vlog. Um, you don't want to do any videos because, you know, you feel so shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. I don't want to be depressing, but I want to be honest with you and serious with you. Like, that's, that is it. And uh, obviously, like, it's thank you to anyone that's messaged us and you know, kept in touch with us and keeps keeps wanting to see vlogs and so what like you know we love hearing from you. Um, you know, do do comment and do let us know what you've been up to all this time. How was your Christmas? Um, it's obviously New Year's tomorrow. Oh, so uh very exciting. <laughs> we're gonna have a very exciting one at home, very quiet. Um, English people don't tend to have that quiet of a New Year's it seems to be a really big event in England. Um, you tend to go out and pay a lot of money to go somewhere to party. Um, but, but yeah, look, I'll leave it at that because we're about to go on a busy road. I can see Aldi now, which is where we're going. Perfect. So I'm going um, to knock it on the head and uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>